Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is add world offset? Let's jump into a quick example. Jump into the node and jump right out. Add world offset is pretty simple. I'm going to add ten to the Z on my head, and every time I hit enter, my head goes up ten units in the Z. Now if I was to rotate my head, let's say something like 90 degrees on the Y, that would be me rotating the body. Let's, oh, that works actually. Okay, so I've rotated the body. So you see how the entire thing is now rotated. But if I hit enter, well, it's not using the local coordinate space, it's using the world space, which means we're going to go up on the Z, which is our up and down coordinate. What do I mean by the world coordinate space? Well, if we look at this item, we'll see Z up, X in that direction, left and right, and Y forward and back in that direction. And that is the coordinate space for the world, and will remain constant unless you've done some really funky stuff to the engine. Basically, Z up, X that way, Y that way, and there you go. If you always want to move something relative to the world, that is what world space is for. So let's look at the node itself. It's pretty simple. Add world offset needs a sync component. Now we do have a bunch of other nodes in here for adding offsets and locations. We have add actor local offset, add relative location, and add local offset. The difference between the four of them, let's close this. Let's see if we make this a little bit better. Ah, let's go with something like that. Okay. So the difference is add actor local offset takes an actual actor, whereas the add world offset doesn't take an actor, but an individual scene component. And these other versions do things based on relativity to the local coordinate system or the relative coordinate system. Basically, if you wish to add an offset or change the location basically based on what it currently is for an individual scene component, and you want it to be a fixed direction in the world, this is what you use the add world offset node for. Again, we take a target of a scene component, and then we take in a delta location, as in how much do we want to change the location. It is a vector, so we can split it, or we can recombine it, depending on if we want the vector values or the float values. And we can sweep or teleport, which I'll cover in a second. In terms of... Actually, you know what? We can cover sweeping and teleporting now. It's just pretty simple. So sweeping. Sweeping is when we move this item, do we want to hit anything or do we want to trigger anything? Just ask yourself that question. Yes or no. If you do, we check sweep and now we can hit things if collision set up or we can trigger things if we have overlapping set up. Do we want to move this item a great distance and not have our physics go bananas? Yes, we do. Hit teleport. No, we don't care or we're not going to move it too much. Let's make sure physics works all the time. We don't want to teleport. Simple as that. If we are sweeping, we will have a hit result. Our hit result can tell us what we've hit, where we've hit it, and even if we've hit it. Technically, you should check to see if you hit it first. That's pretty much it. The add world offset node is intended to add an offset in world coordinate space to a scene component. It's kind of cool. You can actually read the node just like that. So we're going to add an offset to the world. And we're going to target a scene component. And that's it. Keep in mind, because this is an offset and it's taking in a vector, you do not only have to use positive values. A negative value is perfectly fine. So we can actually move our head um, down would be kind of silly. Well, actually, you know what? No, it's not. We'll move it up a couple times. We'll move it down a couple times. Simple as that. So that is going to wrap. That will wrap up our add world offset node. Remember, again, really simple. We want to add something. An offset is what we want to add. So it's changing the location based on the current location. We want to do it in world space, so Z is always up. And we want to target some scene component or part of another actor. We use the add world offset node. 